Hi witchies, welcome back to your everyday witch. Let's get into it. All right, ghouls, so it's March and I'm really, about this time, really craving some Halloween. Uh, I know Halloween stuff is going to be coming very soon. That's always why I'm excited for summer, even though it's pretty miserable because of all the sweating and the heat, which is very, uh, for me, almost intolerable. Coming especially from um, a very hot city such as Las Vegas, I'm done with heat. Uh, but the good thing about summer, regardless, you know, if you can think past the heat, I should say, is we get spooky things starting to trickle in. But until then, until June, until July, we don't really see those things yet. I went onto a website called, uh, I think it's Shane or Sheen, something like that. Um, but it's just like a well-known website where you can get like cheap items basically. And uh, again, this is not an ad or anything. Of course, I just go on there myself. And I just typed into the search like Halloween and all these really cool Halloween pins just happened to come out. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. All the cheap, let me say that one more time, all the seriously budget friendly, um, Halloween pins that I found on this website and I'm going to show you guys my haul basically and they're really great so cheap all of these are at least either one dollar each pin or a dollar fifty for like two pins so it kind of just depends and I'll share with you guys how I use the pins and so let's get into this all right wishies here is my haul of pins so again all of these pins are spooky or Halloween related of some sort Maybe even kind of witchy. All right, guys. Pin number one is this really funky skeleton, kind of two-headed skeleton guy. And this is my favorite kind of backing where it's very secure and it's kind of rubbery because I don't like the metal ones too much. I don't mind them, but they're just not my favorite. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a very cool kind of creepy two-headed skeleton with the ribs here, rib cage. And I thought this would be perfect. Again, I'll show you guys how I'll use these later, but I'm just gonna show you first the pins. All right, so pin number two. Oh, this is so cute, guys. This, so this is my second time getting this one because I love it so much. So this is a ghost with an umbrella, looking so cute. The umbrella is like spider webby, and just the ghost is like, I'm protecting myself from the rain, and it's so sweet. So again, I already got this pin before, but I got a second one because I want to put it somewhere else because I loved it so much for its cuteness. And these pins so far are very lightweight. I also don't like heavy pins because it like weighs down a jacket, it weighs down whatever it is. So I like lightweight things, so these are nice and lightweight and they're metal, which is nice. Next we have a spooky ghoul here with like a devil mask and she's kind of taking it off. So it's like blue and it's red. So it's not holding colors, but it's still creepy and I love that. I'm sorry if the camera is having some trouble focusing, but I hope you guys can see it okay. Another spooky pin here, kind of witchy. We have a black cat, which reminds me of my cat, Meow Meow, of course. Um, but it's here sitting on a skull and the cat kind of has like a crescent moon on it. I'm sorry about any kind of light reflection. Um, but anyway, so this is it. Very sweet. Next, we have a purple crystal ball and in it, it says Bad Witch. And we have just a hand kind of just over that crystal ball and it has a, yeah, it has a pentagram, like a Wiccan pe pentagram, um, kind of like on that hand. So it's very cool. Okay, so this next pin was just funny because it's like, damn, I can relate. This pin is really sweet and really funny. It says, I myself am anxious and confused. Same, ghosty. That's sweet. And I love his kind of like spooked out face. Okay, so I'm still going to say this is kind of a spooky pin. Um... As you guys might know, especially if you've kind of like looked into my old videos, I really like Harry Potter and I got a pin with a white hat and it's wearing a Hufflepuff scarf because that is my house. And I just thought that was really sweet. They have a couple of other cats um, that you can get depending on your house as well. I think the Slytherin cat um, is like a gray, so that's kind of cool. Now this is kind of a teensy weensy pin. It, it was one dollar, so when I got it, I was like, "Why did I pay one dollar for this small little thing?" But whoops, um, it's a witch's hat. It's so cute, but it's just very dainty, very small. I don't think it's going to be very noticeable, but 
there is that. Oh, okay, these ones I was really excited to get and they did not disappoint. All right, so these came in a pack of two. I think these were the 150 I was thinking about, but they are two crescent moon Halloween colored moons. So we got the orange and we have the black and this is gonna look really cool like on a denim jacket uh, or maybe like a purse or something. So I was really excited to get this. Crescent moon, yes please, and Halloween colors. All right, cool. So we have this one as well. This is another skull that's kind of bleeding from the claws of this raven that is, um, I guess, digging its claws into the skull. I don't know how there's still blood, but apparently there is. So we have a raven on top with a skull, and under the skull there is a book. So maybe kind of Edgar Allan Poe vibes. All right, so the last pin um, is maybe very in trend right now. Um, I think you guys have noticed that there are a lot of plant moms lately, people who are having plants and getting more plants and I'm all for it because plants are beautiful, they're very relaxing and so I'm all for it. And this skull is like a it's like a pot plant holder thingy with growing flowers inside and I kind of like that. I kind of understand it maybe kind of like growing, you know, like you're blooming or something. You're just becoming better. Uh, version of yourself. And so that's how I kind of understood this pin. I'm not trying to make it poetic, but I think that's why I really connected with it. So again, this is my last one. And now let me show you what we're going to do with them. All right. So the first idea I have of how we can use some pins is putting them on our dresses. Basically, you can use them as a brooch or you can also use them like if you have any kind of overalls or anything like that. I think those are just so perfect to kind of dress up your outfit. So I got this dress on Sheen as well a while ago and this is just plaid and it's kind of like a big swing skirt here. Um, oh, and here are some pins that I got the first time but I just didn't order again. So again, we have this ghost one that I mentioned with the umbrella. We have a goldfish with a witch hat which is precious. And then we also have a mug here with some smoke coming out of it but the smoke is ghost and the mug says caffeine fiend. So I love that. So again, this is just an idea. You know, obviously you would probably want to wear, if you want, you'd probably want to wear an undershirt with this. And so this kind of just dresses up your outfit and makes it all the more spooky. And these things are perfect for summer or, um, you know, fall or winter or something because you can wear a tank top under this, you can wear a long sleeve, even a sweater under this. So this is very versatile. So this is one way that I wear my pins. The second thing I do is I do wear hats, all sorts of hats, witchy hats, um, baseball hats and things like that because I try to um, protect my face a lot from the sun. So I got this hat kind of recently, there's some hat hair on it, but it's kind of like a military uh, style kind of like baseball cap and it does have like a pocket on here. So I'm just going to add maybe a pin or two here and just kind of show you how you can even just dress up your hats and put your pins there. Okay, so I just put some pins here on the hat. I might add some more, I might take some off, but this um, hat has like a pocket, so I put the pin here, the anxious one, where the pocket is, and this is actually a real pocket, but I'll never use it. Um, and I put that little dainty witch hat here. So this just makes my, this will make my outfit pretty spooky and and I'm trying to protect my face from the sun and give myself a different look and a traditional round witch hat. The last thing I think you guys can guess, of course, please put your pins on a denim jacket. I think that is just the coolest, it's the chicest, it's everything. I think denim jackets will never go out of style and I think putting pins and patches on them will never go out of style. So as of right now, the only pins I have is this uh, which one which I got from Big Lots a while ago and then this Nightmare Before Christmas one I got from Hot Topic a while ago. So let me put some pins on here and just show you guys how it looks. All right so this is how it came out from the website Sheen, the pins that I got and this is actually a new denim jacket for me. I retired my old one that was very many years old over a decade and so here is the crescent moon one, the hand, the witch hand, the cat and so there's that and let me see, yeah, I put the creepy one here and the plant skull here. So I'll probably add some more but for the sake of the video I thought I'd just show you guys just a few and of course denim jacket is the way to go. I might even add some in the back, I'm not sure. But other places that you can put pins would be of course you can put pins on purses, you can put pins on, um, oh my god, just like your jeans even if you really wanted to. 
And so those are just the different ways. All right, guys, so this really helped kind of get my Halloween creepy fix in while it's still not spooky season. Um, it's spooky season in my mind, but the stores say no, which is crazy. So yeah, guys, um, you know, even during Halloween season, Halloween items can be a little pricey. And so uh, I, I try to plan ahead of time before I buy things, but these things are so affordable. Again, they're only like $1. Um, and you know, so check out the website, right? Just write Halloween and you'll get a whole bunch of options, even for jewelry. Um, I've gotten already some pieces and there is some clothing with like jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. All right, witchies, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if any of these pins were cute. Are you gonna check out the website? And in what ways do you use pins? Do you decorate them on a canvas on your wall or where else do you pin your pins? Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like videos that are all spooky. And don't forget to hit like and comment again. These things really push the coven forward so that YouTube is like, people are engaging with your everyday witch. This is the place to be. I will see you guys in that next video and have a spectacular day. Bye.